Uh, speaking of 50, man, shout out to Drake for that. It's hilarious. But speaking of 50, he's going through something that we reported on a while ago uh, about a liquor guy that ended up stealing $6 million from 50's uh, Sire Spirits company. And, well, it's gotten really bad. So 50's kind of put their foot on on, on their necks. Uh, 50 has warned multi, multinational drink company drinks company Beam Suntory that he is not to be played with after he accused them of fraud. Last year, 50 and his alcohol brand, Sire Spirits, headed to mediation with the company after he accused agents of Beam of an embezzlement scheme that involved millions in unpaid invoices. 50 renewed his attack on Beam Suntory, the company, Suntory, the company of Branson Cognac, which distributes uh, Sire Spirits on Monday, March 11th, in a series of scathing Instagram posts. He said, Beam Suntory is going to pay for what they did, trust me. These big companies think they can get away with anything. It has cost me millions in legal fees. They're going to find out I'm not the one you want to play with. He added, here's a clear version of the news. Uh, Beam Sterney, Gene Beam official. I'm not the guy you want to get started. In nicest way, I'm going to get my money by Monday. So it's a bunch of like a news article report about everything that happened. Basically, this guy, there was a guy um, drawing up fake invoices and charging retail outlets that were going to, you know, distribute Branson Cognac and a Le Chemin du Bois and those drinks. He was charging them more because usually, you know, these, these retail companies, they get, they get wholesale prices, they get lower prices, then they can put the item up for sale and make more profit as well. You know, cause 50 has the price that he gets, the wholesale company has theirs and the, the retail company has theirs. But apparently that guy, the middleman in between that was jacking up prices, the wholesale prices and pocketing those extra prices. Instead of, you know, being honest and just selling them wholesale, which is unfortunate. It costs about $6 million and it, it obviously costs 50s company issues as well because retailers are going to be like, well, there's not much profit to be made in this. If they're giving me, you know, let's just say the bottle's being sold for $80 and for wholesale, they're giving it to them for 60 and their mind, they're like, it's only $20 profit. So they're not going to prioritize that product because other products are probably making them more profit. So it, it's a trickling effect with a lot of things, but you know, let's just say the wholesale was $40 instead and it was $80. That's a $40 profit. Then they're going to prioritize that a lot more than other companies because if they're making more money off that, they're going to want to sell more of that instead. But apparently that guy was just spiking spack, up the wholesale prices to a lot higher so that, you know, he could pocket whatever that difference is. It's unfortunate, man. You get a lot of these type of situations, but uh, 50 continued on just constantly posted and said, Beam Suntory is going to pay for what they did, trust me. Um, which I read this, sorry. Uh, he said, it was due yesterday. Now I'm going to uh, need double by Monday. Somebody should have told you about me. 50 don't play, man. When it comes to money, this is probably one of the worst people you want to owe money <laughs> to. <laughs> At least the way he asked. 50 is cool, though, most of the time. The way he acts is hilarious. But 50 kept going in, even posted, um, even posted like uh, clips of the guy snitching. Uh, he said, this fool been snitching since 1942, Don Julio. Uh, you know he's going to tell on everybody, LOL, Beam Suntory is fucked. They was playing with this guy, Michael Caruso, a half a million a year with him and his partner, Julius Grant, to put this together. Beam Suntory, this is going to make a great TV show. So he's just going in on them. And, hey, man, we'll keep our eye out if any updates happen. But, uh, you know, this is a situation where, it's just a lot of people involved and something like this is going to happen. Big companies, a lot of liquor companies, um, you know, unfortunately that a lot of liquor companies don't be hiring the most professional people. Um, they're the type to get high on their own supply, you know? So, you know, we reported this a while ago, 50 has got a bunch of lawsuits going on, but we'll keep our eye out on this one. And, um, you know, I'm not, well, not one thing I'm not, I'm going to, I'm going to attack 54, not really attack him, but just kind of criticize him for is the power spinoffs. He just announced uh, the spinoff of the power origins of Tommy and uh, Ghost and their origins. I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. I think this power thing, I haven't watched. Here's the thing, though, so I can't really say this. I can kind of speak on this half, halfway. I haven't watched any of the power spinoffs. I've only watched the original power. I haven't watched the Raising Canaan. I haven't watched uh, the Ghost one, whatever. the I forget the title of that. I haven't watched the Tommy one. The origins, power origins. What happened to the other power show with that guy, the lawyer guy? They just completely canceled that one because that was announced as well. But that there's been no updates on that. Power Origin sounds interesting in theory. But to be honest with you, I think 50's 
kind of becoming a one trick pony right now in terms of TV success. Um, you know, what's how much more power we're going to do here, fifth? You know, BMF is doing well, cool, but it's kind of like in the same category as power. Like, who was the person that said, I think Steve Stout, when that interview with um, Shannon Sharp said that 50, if 50 gets involved in comedy, like comedy stuff, he's going to skyrocket because 50 is just a funny guy in general. And his comedy stuff is going to be. So 50 did try to do comedy with 50 Central on BET. That show failed. You know, he had four life on ABC. That show after two seasons wasn't renewed, failed pretty much. Um, the Money and the Power, which is the first TV show he's ever done, failed. He's had a lot of mishaps on TV shows. There's another one, The Oracle, I think it was called, or something like that. That didn't really do anything. Um, so right now he's kind of, he's on stars betting on on power and BMF right now. Those are the two things that are, but they're succeeding really, really well, man. BMF just broke like season three records of new viewers. So, you know, he's having a lot of success, but I want to see more out of it. And hopefully we get more of that. There's a lot of TV shows he's announced that we're going to get be getting and stuff like that. But I don't know. I just, I want to see more of variety. I don't want to just like the four life thing was a little bit of variety. It was about a lawyer getting locked. Unfortunately, he didn't perform well, but you know, if he got into comedy, something like that, that'd be really cool as well. But uh, right now he's, he's, he's pretty much a one trick pony right now. All we're getting is gangsta flicks and drug cartel type type of, you know, shows, um, which is cool. It's fun. It has its thing, but uh, you know, I want something different. Um, have you guys seen that show Shogun? That show is, I've watched episode one. I love episode one, man. I can't wait. I gotta watch the rest, but I'm not, I hate waiting for each episode to come out every week, but uh, so that's why I'm probably going to hold off on it. And then when season one comes out, I'll watch all of season one, but that show is man based off episode one, really good. So uh, yeah, I would like 50 to get involved in more different things, man. That'll be really cool. But that's kind of my rant on that.